Hi, I'm Larry Koplick. I am chair of Montgomery Shade Tree Committee. We're trying to increase the tree coverage in Montgomery just for aesthetic reasons, environmental reasons, and so on. So that's sort of our primary focus is planting the trees on the streets. We also plant trees in the parks, in Montgomery Park. We also plant trees in Montgomery's Arboretum. Uh, the other thing we do is we are responsible for uh, reviewing applications from developers and homeowners who are doing projects in town. We focus on the landscape plans that are provided in those applications and look them over to make sure that they are in accordance with the township's ordinances. We provide um, educational uh, opportunities for the township, particularly uh, young people. We have an, uh, an Arbor Day program every April. We uh, provide tree seedlings for all the third graders. We've been doing this for 30 years now. Every year we, we offer a different species, uh, a native plant, a native tree, and we have volunteer speakers from our committee as well as from the community, parents and so on who go into the classrooms of the third graders and do an hour-long program. We also have a couple of exhibits at the library, Mary Jacobs Library. We, there's a display case where we always have a different uh, display talking about some aspect of trees, how to care for them or, or whatever. We also are involved with the town's Earth Day Fair program. We usually have a booth there when the Earth Day Fair is scheduled and we provide literature and we also usually offer some free tree seedlings for people to take home and plant. The Arboretum is meant to be a, an educational venue. Uh, we plant many different types of trees. There's usually just one of each type and, and maybe a different varieties of that type. So you might have one maple but you'd have several different varieties of maples. Um, so it's really meant to be a, a place where people can go and say, oh, that's, that looks like a nice tree and it's growing well here in Montgomery. I should think about maybe planting one in my yard. But one other thing about the Arboretum, um, it is a place where people can donate money to have a tree either in memory of someone or in honor of someone. So we work with you to uh, pick a tree that you like a place that you like it. Uh, and again, it has to work with the environment. You know, if it's a tree that likes wet area, we're not going to plant in a dry area, so we're going to steer you toward the right possible area. Um, and then you will get a plaque uh, in front of the tree that will give the name of the tree, and it will also say, in memory of, or in honor of, whatever you'd like the language to be. And that costs $300, which is basically just the cost of the uh, tree and the planting of the tree. and we guarantee it. So if the tree does die, we will plant another one, partly because it's something that we want there to, to be. So you, uh, you will have a tree there forever, even if uh, it does die initially. Uh, in addition, you can uh, spend money to have a memorial bench as well. We have, if you've walked through the Arboretum, and I encourage you all to walk through the Arboretum. It's a beautiful spot. You'll see many people out there walking their dogs or or jogging or whatever, um, and we have these trails that go through it. Um, so you can donate a bench. That costs, um, I think, the price just went up. I think it's $1,200 now for a, for a bench. But it's a very nice, sturdy bench, and again, you'll get a little plaque on there to, uh, to show who it's in memory of or in honor of. I think everyone values shade and beauty and, uh, I mean, it, it, it also improves property values. You look at uh, Princeton with all of its mature trees. People love those streets. Um, trees obviously are good for the environment. They are helping to cool things in the summer. They, they keep your heating bill down in the winter. Um, they help with climate change. We do always have to rely on volunteers to get some of our work done uh, because we just don't have enough of a budget to uh, to do everything. Because once you've planted a tree, you know, you have the expense of buying the tree, planting the tree, 
but then things don't end there. Those areas need to be weeded, they sometimes need to be watered, they need to be mulched, and so on. So anything that people could do, you know, even just an hour, a couple hours a year, you know, if we just got another, enough people, it really would be helpful. We always are needing people to be on our committee. We have seven members on our committee, but people move away, people move on. So we need to have people who can step in and, and be part of that. The Shade Tree Committee, like all of the town's committees, has uh, information on the town's website. You can look under boards and committees, and then look under, you'll find Shade Tree Committee listed there, and there's uh, an email address to, uh, which goes straight to me. There's no, there's no requirement whatsoever with any background. If you have an interest in helping out and, and want to help out the town, help out the environment, we'd love to have you.